Hey folks and welcome to TK Power Sports and RVs. You know today's gonna be a fun day because we're out here in Florida riding this bad boy. This is the brand new 2023 Sea-Doo RX PX Apex 300. This is the quickest PWC you can buy right now and we're gonna review it, show you all around it and get out there and hit the water. Make sure you stay tuned. start this one with the walk around. Now you might already know the RXPX name because it's already been around for a while out there speeding down the water. But this is the Apex package. This is only going to be available for one year, so it's exclusive. They're not going to make that many. They wouldn't tell me exactly how many they made, but yes, you're not going to find this next year. So let's go through what you get when you go for Apex. And one of the things you notice, first of all, right up here in the front is a carbon fiber hood. And again, this is not a decal. This is real carbon fiber. Why would you want that? Weight savings. This thing is all about maximum performance. So use the carbon to save a bit of weight. Now I do appreciate this just because it's the crazy fast model doesn't mean it loses any of its storage up here in the nose. That's a significantly large storage bin. You can still pack a nice amount of stuff with you wherever you happen to be going on the water. Uh, while I'm looking at the fuel cap here, I will also mention premium fuel only. Yes, you do got to put 91 into this machine. So as we roll back, the other thing that's unique on Apex, and this is really cool, there is an extra steering damper right down here in the steering column. So you can make your steering lighter or heavier just using that switch right there. Now the reason you'd want that is because when you're going out there at crazy high speeds, you actually are gonna be fighting your handlebars a little bit and that's gonna help to keep them nice and smooth and to make sure you're not getting fatigued as the rider, like I said, constantly fighting against them. Now the other thing you might've noticed too, this unique seat. This is basically what they'd call a racing seat and this comes standard on this machine. This backrest too is adjustable, so depending on your size, you can move it around. And then if you do wanna bring someone, the two up seat also comes with the machine so you can still ride with two people. Now a couple other neat things down here in the footwells there's actually these little angled plates and that's going to help to kind of camber your knees right up into the machine so you can grab on tight. You'll also see this is laser engraved matting. I think mostly it's just there to look cool but it'll also provide a little bit of grip for you as well. And then at the back another nice thing CD still gives you their link system so all of those accessories a fuel caddy a cooler whatever you want to bring you can slap it on the back. And then one thing I also noticed, there's no boarding step on the rear end. And honestly, that's just a nod to the fact that this thing is ultra high performance. So anywhere c could save some weight, they absolutely did it. And yeah, I think that's it for the walk around. Let's go out there and ride this thing and see how it feels. Now, of course, you need to know about the power. So underneath me is a 1.6 liter supercharged engine that is making 300 horsepower. And yes, this thing does have launch mode and you can see it right here. Okay, folks, time to test out one of the coolest features here, launch mode. So first of all, we're gonna put this thing into sport mode, that's done. Then you're gonna press these two VTS buttons at the same time. VTS one launch, and then you get launch on, and then you get launch off. So we only want one launch right now, and it's in neutral. Zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds, here we go. In three, two, one. And he's gone. Now I didn't get a chance to actually time the launch control, but I can tell you that from behind the handlebars, it makes the takeoff significantly more aggressive. Now what it's actually doing is not only making sure that the powertrain delivers maximum power, but also that the jet nozzle, the variable trim, can adjust on the fly. Now that's gonna do its best to limit bow rise, but also to get the hull up on plane as quickly as possible. 
When you jump on this machine, it is immediately apparent that it is all about aggressive riding, and that's really to do with the seating position. You can lock your knees in right here, and that really helps to keep you in place so it's not all dependent on your arms, because of course, after riding at high speeds, your arms are gonna start to get tired. So it's nice to be able to really lock yourself in. And then the other thing you'll see is this race seat. So I have this support, it's adjustable. I brought it right up to me. So you really feel connected with the machine. Um, very much like a sport bike kind of a feel where you're kind of one with the machine. Now in that vein too, the handlebars here are not adjustable. So if you do stand up, they are a little bit low, but that's because they're trying to keep this low profile. Now another neat thing on these handlebars is this adjustable damper. You turn it left and right, and again, you feel what's going on here immediately the steering gets way heavier. Now not only is that going to keep it kind of nice and damped out on the water so you're not fighting with it, but another thing I just personally like is heavier feeling steering and that's exactly what it delivers. So this also gives you the opportunity to sort of customize how you want your steering to feel rather than other units where it just is what it is. So performance in the water isn't really changed from an RX PX300, but that's okay because it's already ridiculous. This machine absolutely digs in when you throw it into a corner. You never get that feeling like it wants to break traction or break loose. It just, and, and I'm talking any speed you want, huck into that corner and it just digs. In fact, I was surprised at how much water it was throwing everywhere, but that's because it's digging in so hard into the water, it gives you that unbelievable traction. And, and again, having your knees locked is important because I was out there, you can see it pulling tight turns, riding aggressively. 10 minutes later, I'm already getting getting tired. This is the kind of machine where you have to ride it. You're not out for a leisurely ride. You are into this thing because it's just so dang powerful and it handles so well. Now, of course, you don't have to ride it aggressively, and there's even an eco mode here if you want to save fuel. And look, if you're out for a cruise, you also get the full technology package. So I have my Bluetooth audio you can crank up. Heck, if you want to watch a Truck King video out on the water, you can do that and show all of your friends. Nice. I also get this really amazing digital display up here in front of me. Gives you all your information on a nice crisp display, but maybe what's even cooler is it hooks up to an app you can get on your phone, which is going to enable uh, navigation, and it's gonna give you all kinds of other information about your machine. Once that phone is tucked in here, you'll be able to actually see it up on your touch screen. The integration of your technology that you already have, yeah, they've, they've really worked on that to make sure that you can get on, plug your phone in, and easily control it without having to take it out and actually go on the touch screen. So, honestly guys, I think they've thought of everything here. And if you want one of these machines, make sure you go get it now because this is an exclusive 2023 model. They only made so many. They're probably going to sell out if they already aren't. And you know in the future this is going to be a collector's item. Well, folks, we're coming to the end of this one. Now, honestly, the story here I think is pretty simple. If you want one of the most exclusive PWCs on the water that also handles amazingly, you gotta go check out this RXPX Apex, and once again, you gotta get it right now because it's a limited edition model. If you wanna buy one here in the States, you're talking about $21,000. Back home in Canada, this is gonna sell for 26 grand. And if you want it, go get it now. So that's it for this one. Please go in those comments. Let me know what you think of this model. As always, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member, and then come back here to TK Power Sports to see what we're testing next. And if you'll excuse me, I got lots more riding to do. See ya!